What's going on guys? Today we're talking about three things to instantly make you a better rider. Number one, we're talking about stance. Number two, we're talking about turning. Number three, we're talking about braking. These are the three fundamental things that if you improve upon, you'll be a much better rider overall. Coming alive. Whoa. If you feel like the people on the internet or people who you ride with are a little bit better than you and you feel like, man, I wish I could do a little thing like he's doing or man, his takeoffs are amazing or his turning seems to be pretty smooth or whatever you're thinking about, this video is for you. So generally a lot of people are standing with each leg side by side, pretty equal and parallel. Now that is a good stance, it's a totally fine stance. But I think if you want a little more agility, a little more aggressive riding style, you want to adopt a stance that's a little bit off kilter. So you're going to want to have one foot a little bit forward than the other foot. It'll be something akin to riding a skateboard or a snowboard, but a little bit rolled back. So obviously we're not riding sideways like a one wheel. But if you're standing a little off center a little bit, maybe your right side forward, you're going to have a lot more control over what you can do with your pedals when you're stopping and starting and turning um, than you would when you're just standing side by side. So you can kind of see me here rolling around with this new stance where I've got one foot a little bit forward, I've even got a shoulder a little bit forward, and this gives me a lot more control over how I function on my wheel. The other thing to note about your stance is you don't want to keep your legs too close to the wheel. Some guys have a very wide stance where they're almost to the edges of their pedals, and some other guys are really tight. I think you could find somewhere in the middle that allows you some leeway so that your wheel can just sort of maneuver back and forth between your legs without you falling over. All right, number two, turning. Something I mentioned in videos past is when you're turning, it's pretty intuitive to wanna to lean into a turn. However, an added bonus is if you lock your outer leg when you're making that turn. So if you're turning left, you're gonna lock your outer right leg against the side of the wheel. Now it's easier on taller wheels than it is on shorter wheels, but the premise applies across the board, across any electric unicycle. So when you're leaning into that turn, lock your outer leg so you have a stability against it. This is gonna give you much more control over your turns. You're gonna have a much more enjoyable experience and you can accelerate a lot faster in those turns. I know for a while I was seeing a lot of guys I was riding with here in New York City making these wildly aggressive turns and I was like, how are they doing this? What's going on? Locking that outer leg is a real key to success to making aggressive or light turns, but really it's more about stability and having control over what you're doing. Number three is braking. So when I'm going into a hard stop, think of it like those claw machines in arcades, and when it grabs the stuffed animal, it's just a grip on it and pulls up. So that's what you're gonna do with your knees and your legs. When you're ready to make the stop, use your legs to grip the wheel as tight as you can, and then I lean back with my butt leading first, and I twist my legs a little bit, just ever so slightly. Again, so it's like you're grabbing the wheel and twisting and pulling back. This is gonna give you a lot of control over stopping and avoiding wobbles and falling off your wheel. I have great success with this and I use it often, especially when there's an emergency stop where a cab pulls out in front of me or a pedestrian or anything like that. All the things like that that we have to worry about here in New York City. All right, I know I said I only had three, but I've got a bonus one for you, an extreme acceleration from zero. So essentially what you wanna do is think like you're skiing. So when you're skiing, you wanna slalom back and forth. You're gonna basically do that with your knees against the side of the wheel. So if I'm taking up from start and I wanna go as fast as possible to wherever I'm heading, you're gonna use one leg and then the other to sort of push and push and push with your knees against each side. So you're sort of pushing into the wheel, left, right, left, right, left, right, you're pumping essentially. So you're pumping your way to a faster acceleration. This takes a little bit of trial and error because if you overdo it, you might like fall over and wreck your wheel. You have to find the right amount of pressure forward into the side a little bit that gives you that sort of pump action with your whole leg and your knees against the side of the unicycle. So try these things out, let me know how they go. If you're having some trouble, definitely hit me up in the comments below. I'll do whatever I can to sort of help you out. So I hope these three things make you a better rider and makes your experience a lot more fun. So thanks for stopping by the channel. Definitely like and subscribe and share this around to everyone you know on the internet. The more people see it, the more I can make more content. So thanks for watching and keep riding.